Hello, what's up developers? After a long time, here I am back again. Uh, I couldn't post anything for the past few months because I was moving to Berlin and settling up here. Things took more time than I expected. But uh, today here I am with another tutorial. So uh, this is uh, another tutorial with React, TypeScript. So today I'm going to discuss with you how to use key events with TypeScript and React. Uh, so that's it about this tutorial. So let's move into this tutorial and see how it is going to be. So now you can see my code sandbox, uh, which I have prepared. And I also uh, added Tailwind because I wanted to <laughs> have it, but it doesn't make any much sense here. So don't mind it. Uh, let's uh, deal with this one later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to clear up these things because I don't want these H1s here. Instead of that, I want to have input element right and this one should be text and like that right but i can't see it because we have tailwind right now it clears up the existing styles so now you can see it okay let me let me make it uh, more darker oh not border color, but border is sky 500 or something. Yeah, I think now can see you can see it. Yeah, now we can see it all together without any issues. So when it comes to keyboard events, React is handling it differently uh, in many cases. Actually, React has a different ways of handling keyboard events and getting details uh, from uh, input elements. I have done one video earlier about uh, how to handle with form events. So I will link it here as well. Then you can refer it, but this one is a bit different, right? So I will explain how we used to do it with JavaScript. I'm going to add use effect here and uh, the use effect import is automatically added. Now I'm going to add use effect like this. I want to render this in the first time only. Then uh first let me add id here right otherwise we can't capture this element i added it as a name then i'm going to uh, access document object get element by id and my id name is name and uh, this can be undefined so add event is here and I'm adding any event like I'm going to explain key down, key press and key up. But for now, I'm going with key press and I'm adding a function here. Right. If you really want this old way of uh, doing things, I will add function here. Right. So I'm going to console log this one then uh, you can see what is the result we are getting here right so okay code sandbox formatted my code now i'm going to actually i'm going to make it info only because otherwise i will be getting some tailwind warnings here and there so when i press a see you can uh, find all the details about normal keyboard event uh, it is a javascript keyboard event which we used to use so it is as they are so simply so this is the old way of doing this one so we are not doing it now we are doing more react this way because we are using react right so let me comment it for a moment and uh, i'll be adding a new function const handle key press right and uh, i need to add the event here which should be react dot okay keyboard event so this keyboard event is a new event uh, introduced from react which is an extension of another newly introduced uh, event which is called synthetic uh, event actually you can see uh, what is synthetic event and it's all properties here and there here keyboard event is the extension of synthetic event synthetic event is a cross browser wrapper around browser's native event. 
So simply React makes uh, it is more easily accessible and useful uh, with these things. It is just that nothing much more, but it's there. So I'll be adding a console log here. And uh, I need to add handle key press on key press event. I'm adding this one. L let's see if this formats correctly. Yeah, it formats correctly. And uh, uh, it's saying, but yeah. And if I press anything here, so it will be available. It is a synthetic base event simply. Uh, here you can see all the details uh, related to this one like it is a type of key press if you want access native will event uh, as we have seen previously it is uh, there you can access it other than other than that yeah, everything is available uh, out of the box like uh, things including stop propagation prevent default as well uh, will be available so this is how we are normally doing it uh, not only for the key press if you want uh, on key down we can use the same uh, function without changing name because uh, the function signature is uh, similar it doesn't change because uh, react keyboard event is the event which is handling the same things here and there and if you can see uh, key on key down uh, it is adding here as a new event you can find it uh, yeah, there is a small slowness. I can identify it, but I, I think it is because of code sandbox things. Uh, when we are checking in normally, uh, this this won't happen. No, I can uh, I, I can see that, but but it happens. It's okay. So I'm going to clear this up, and uh, it it is same as on key up as well. It doesn't change anything on key up. Uh, it is also same uh, here you will see the result here it's on key up event like that so these are the normal things we used to do uh, with javascript and this is how we are doing in a uh, more reactive way so if you want to uh, check more details about synthetic event and keyboard event just go to the react documentation i will link it here uh, it has all the everything details you need to know so these are things i wanted to discuss with you in this smaller tutorial and i'm planning to uh, do more la longer tutorial uh, which is also related with keyboard shortcuts and uh, keyboard events like so on but so this will be the first one <laughs> so thank you very much for joining with me and uh, listening to me so all the time and uh, stay tuned with me i will be posting new things for sure because now i am i'm planning to spend some time on this one because i wanted to okay then bye for now see you again later